Good afternoon. I'm Summit County Executive Eileen Shapiro. Welcome to the Summit County On Demand Town Hall. Thank you for joining me and our other speakers to learn about our resources available to older adults and their caregivers in Summit County. COVID-19 emergency has created challenges and uncertainty for every person in our community. It's become clear that older adults are bearing a significant burden of this public health crisis. The virus is especially dangerous for those population. Simple tasks like going to the grocery store or pharmacy are now a risk for older adults. And the social distancing measures and staying at home order issued by the state have intensified the challenges for many older adults that are facing how to perform these functions on a daily basis. We have not forgotten about you. As we so often do, all of Summit County has risen to the challenge and is working hard to make sure older adults have access to the services and resources they need. Abby Morgan from Direction Home, Akron, Canton, Jim Mullen from United Way, Probate Court Judge Eleanor Marsh Stormer, and Congressman Tim Ryan all have important information to share with you. Make sure you stay tuned to hear each speaker and post any questions you have. Hello all, my name is Abby Morgan and it is a pleasure to come directly to you from my home to yours and share some information. I work for Direction Home, your local area agency on aging. Direction Home is part of a state and national network of organizations providing information, resources, and support to older adults and people with disabilities and their caregivers. Our goal is that community members age well with support and comfort in whatever place you call home. It feels that goal has never been more vital now, as we are all encouraged to stay home. So, what should older adults do if they need help with meals? As I think about our mission at Direction Home, this quote came to mind. One cannot think well, love well, or sleep well if one has not dined well. For perhaps the first time, many of our neighbors have had to think and consider how to safely get a meal while sheltering in place, particularly if they cannot physically prepare the meal themselves. Assistance with getting delivered meals is by far our biggest request at this time. Direction Home has received disaster relief funding and is able to assist with getting meals to older adults and those who may be helping to care for older loved ones. We are fortunate to work with many fantastic meal providers who can put in place home delivered meals quickly, usually within a week. Since mid-March, Direction Home has worked with these community partners to have meals delivered to hundreds of community members who have never before had to worry about where their next meal may come from. But we know there are many, many more community members who still may need help. Adults 60 and over and their caregivers who live in Summit, Stark, Portage, or Wayne counties are eligible. Please give us a call to want and talk to one of our information specialists and ask about our meals program. The number is 877-770-5558 and will be posted again at the end of this video. We know our nutrition is not the only impact we feel with ongoing efforts to be physically distanced from others. So what other help is available for seniors and their families who continue to practice social distancing? People worried about crowds should call their local or favorite grocery stores and ask about older adult shopping hours. Stores have been scheduling times for older adults to shop, reducing crowds for those who may be most at risk for COVID-19. Direction Home has a list of providers with senior specific hours and supports for shopping. Additionally, Direction Home is continually doing outreach to service providers, faith-based institutions, businesses, and tracking resources available during the pandemic. We are sharing this information and updates regularly on our social media pages and also to anyone who reaches out to us by phone. I'll close my portion by thanking you for your time to tune in to this information that we have to share. Thanks to Executive Shapiro for partnering and bringing this information to our residents. We are looking forward to sharing future videos on topics important to you and your neighbors. So if you have comments or questions, please post them down below in the comment box. And please stay safe, stay healthy and connected. Thank you. Jim Mullen, President and CEO of United Way of Summit County. The United Way of Summit County, just like everyone else, has had a significant impact rate of the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak that's impacted our local community, but the country and the world. Specific to United Way, prior to the pandemic, we were an organization that was aimed at our community's long-standing community problems and trying to fa face those problems uh, with systemic issues of change. 
As the pandemic has approached and we have had to dive in, we are now uh, working with others on an emergency response that helps all people in our local community who have been impacted by COVID-19. This was not an easy pivot, but one that we did in a quick manner that allows us to be responsive to the ongoing community needs that we face uh, here in Summit County. Some of those areas that you can, we can help you are specific to a uh, response to the pandemic. 2-in-1 Information Referral Services is the most valuable resource to our community as we all battle this pandemic. 2-in-1 is available to all residents of our community 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year for information and referral services to speak to a live person who can help you with any of the needs that you face related to the pandemic. This service is available again by simply picking up your phone and dialing 211. You can also search our database by going to uwsummit.org and searching all the uh, variable, available agencies and referrals uh, related to your specific problem within our local community, or by simply texting 898-211 and you will be connected to, again, a live person who will exchange text messages with you to help you uh, respond to the need that you might have. Specifically, if you're looking for rent, utility, or bill assistance right now, we again encourage you to dial 211. Those services, again, are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will work as an organization with live individuals who will work with you as you call to identify potential areas where we can refer you to get the help you possibly need. Those agents will ask you specific questions related to your zip code, your age, your economic situation, and other key questions that will help us evaluate who in our local community can help you at this difficult time. We try the best we possibly can to always match a call with the best referral possible for their assistance. However, as you can imagine, there are times where a referral is not necessarily available. If that is the case, we will continue to work with you to identify some other areas that we may be able to find assistance that will help relieve stress at this difficult time. No matter what the situation is in our local community, United Way and 2-on-1 stand ready to support our community and the people as they need services. This has been an unprecedented time for our local community, and United Way will continue to stand strong with our partners to ensure that we're meeting the need of our community in this difficult time. Finally, we hope you all are staying safe. We hope you're doing everything you possibly can to remain healthy and working through all things that are needed to help us all be better in this pandemic. Thank you all, and we hope everyone is doing well. Hi, I'm Judge Eleanor Marsh Stormer, the Summit County Probate Court Judge. And in Summit County Probate Court, we deal with a lot of different issues concerning elderly seniors or people who can't really look after themselves and need someone to help them do that. So we have been thinking a lot about social isolation of seniors, not just now, but in the last couple of years, because we recognize that people who are not connected uh, can have other health problems, uh, loneliness uh, can cause them to become uh, depressed, anxious, and have metabolic changes because of that. And so we've been thinking a lot about social isolation. Today, everybody thinks about social isolation because we are being told we have to isolate at home. And I hope that for many people who never thought about what it'd be like to be a senior and alone, this is giving them a little more empathy for the fact that we have a lot of people who really are alone. We know that isolation though is not the same as loneliness. And when we really talk about social isolation, most of the time we're thinking about loneliness. And loneliness itself is again, a higher risk factor, not just for people's mental health, but also for their physical health. So as we go forward, I think there are a lot of things we can do as a culture around the issues of isolation and loneliness for our seniors. Uh, but for today, let's talk about how we deal with problems of social isolation and loneliness for people in our community right now. We have a little experience with it. We would not want this to be forever, but for some people it is forever. The question today though is, my mom is alone during the stay at home order. What can I do to help her connect to others so that she's not so isolated while I work. Well, obviously the first thing is the telephone. You can check in with her and check in with others. My mom is home also, and she has used this time to connect with a lot of people she hasn't talked to in a long time. Why? Because she has the time to do it and they're home too. 
So she's talked to old friends, uh, family members she doesn't see as often. She's got a regular chat schedule with some of her, with her sister and her sister-in-law and some others. And obviously this keeps her very busy and, and not feeling lonely, most importantly, during the day. We know that the radio and television are nice uh, opportunities for people. The radio, kind of an old fashioned thing, but perhaps your mom has a radio. There's talk radio, there's other things she can listen to, which make her feel connected to the world at large. That's what these electronics can do for us. The internet, whatever her interests are, I'm sure there are somebody else on the internet who has the exact same interest. There are concerts, there are walks through museums, there are people who are doing all kinds of fascinating things. And of course, there's always the cute cat or dog video if she likes those things. Um, so the internet, if she's not familiar with it, you may have to go over, help her get adjusted to that and start to use the internet as her own big playground. But let's say for the moment that she doesn't have the internet. And I know a lot of elderly people do not have an internet. Some of them don't have a smartphone. They use a landline for connectivity. Well, I'd like to introduce you to something that you may not remember, which is the pen. The pen can be used for her to write letters to her friends. It can be used for her to doodle or draw with. We now know that just engaging in any kind of little activity like that for about 45 minutes can drop cortisol levels and make people feel a lot less stressed out. Feel free to bring her books or puzzles to do, any kind of little craft thing that she might be interested in, if you can encourage her to do that. Those are things that allow people to be you know, somewhat busy and they don't feel lonely while they're doing a lot of the things that we have sort of forgotten about doing, like how to write a letter with a pen. Uh, we are engaged at Summit County with a uh, letter writing and card making uh, enterprise. We invite your mom to make cards and letters that we can take and distribute to people who might be isolated in an extended care facility or a nursing home. Uh, this would be a chance for her to do something for others, uh, which also makes people feel a lot less isolated. The last thing I'd suggest is that whatever she's doing, she can talk to her friends about the fact that they're doing it. Maybe they're doing the same puzzle, reading the same book. This would give her an opportunity to talk to those people about the activities that she's pursuing. I hope you and your loved ones can stay safe during this very difficult time and that your mom can find a way to feel less isolated. Thanks very much. Hi, this is Congressman Tim Ryan. I hope you all are uh, safe. I uh, hope you are practicing uh, social distancing and I hope your families and, and friends are safe as well. We're obviously in a very unique time here in the United States, one many of us never thought we would ever be in. Uh, and I wanna be of assistance to you uh, to the extent I can. I know there's some issues around uh, the stimulus check that you uh, should be receiving. Uh, we've been putting uh, an enormous amount of pressure on the Department of Treasury uh, to get these checks out. Uh, we know that if you um, have direct deposit, uh, you probably get it a, a lot quicker. If you don't, uh, you can uh, register on the web page and, and sign up for direct deposit. If you're getting a paper check, it's going to take you uh, a while. My advice to you, if you're having any issues or you want to check your status, is to go to the Get My Payments uh, section on the IRS website. And that should uh, give you a status report as to where uh, your check is. I'm, pr I'm pretty proud that we have, uh, I have led the, the charge for this $1,200 uh, cash payment. Uh, and I don't think it's enough. I want to continue to push and we're pushing with a bill that would say that we should be giving uh, citizens who make less than $130,000 a year uh, a $2,000 a month payment for the next six months which would be uh, extremely helpful for so many people in the country. Couples making less than $260,000 uh, would also qualify and up to three dependents for $500 each, up to $1,500. Uh, if we're going to stabilize this economy, uh, we have to do it by getting money in the pockets of, of the American people. 70% of our economy is consumer spending, and that means that not only do we need this money to, to stabilize today, what's happening in the United States. But if we're going to come out of this uh, pandemic and really uh, get our economy moving again, we're, we have to make sure that the average person has some money in their pocket. Uh, and that means they can't fall behind on their mortgages, their home equity loans, their private loans, their credit card bills, their auto payments. We have to make sure people can keep up with this. And that's why I'm fighting so hard. I hope we can get it in the next package. But again, please stay safe. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm here for you. My office is here for you. We're getting obviously inundated 
uh, with, with thousands of calls, but we're here to help and, and we will get back to you. But in the meantime, if you want to uh, check your status, again, go to the Get My Payment section on the IRS webpage. Please be safe and God bless you all. I want you to know in Washington, I've also been fighting for uh, and passing legislation that will help expand the assistance uh, to these hospitals that are so overburdened money for state and local governments who have seen all of the general revenue that comes in from business activity uh, go down. We've been helping small businesses try to get some money to stabilize them uh, for the next couple months and unemployment insurance even for people who uh, may be self-employed. Uh, so my office is here to help you. I want you to know that. I want you to reach out to me if you're having any troubles at all. Uh, you can reach me by going to my website, timryan.house.gov, or calling toll-free uh, 1-800-856-4152. We're here to help you. We're here to support you. We're here to advocate for you. And feel free to give uh, us a call anytime. We know these are very, very difficult and, and stressful times uh, for so many people. Again, and lastly, just prayers to all of those frontline uh, workers in the in the healthcare field, the police, the fire, the f people working at the grocery stores, shipping the food. A lot of people have stepped up, and uh, God bless them. Let's keep them in our prayers and hope you all are doing well. Stay safe. Thanks. Thank you, Abby, Jim, Judge Stormer, and Congressman Ryan for the, sharing this valuable information. For those of you listening, please put this information to good use. If you need assistance, do not hesitate to reach out. We know you may have questions that were not answered in this video. Please contact Direction Home at 800-421-7277. Let me repeat that. Direction Home at 800-421-7277 with additional questions or dial 211 to be connected with the United Way representative. And if you are struggling to buy groceries, please apply for food assistance by calling my Department of Jobs and Family Services at 844-640-6446. If you suspect an older adult is being abused, neglected, or exploited, please call Adult Protective Services at 330-643-7217. Anonymous calls are accepted. Your safety and well-being are important to us. As we adapt to the many changes in our lives, we will continue to think of created solutions to the problems facing residents, especially those that are most vulnerable. Look for another on-demand town hall on May 20th. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you, Summit County.